Hi everyone, I'm Wendy, and today I'm talking about Mary's Mini, which is a variation on the McDougal diet. I've been planning on making this video for over a year, but sadly, Dr. McDougal passed away on June 22nd of this year, 2024. So before I get into the video, I wanted to say a few words about Dr. McDougal. Dr. McDougal was one of a kind. He wasn't afraid to tell it like it is. And because of that, he wasn't exactly everyone's favorite person. But whether you liked his style or not, there was no denying that Dr. McDougal was dedicated to the truth, he had an immense amount of integrity, and cared deeply for his patients. He just wanted us all to be a little happier and healthier. Dr. McDougal directly helped thousands of patients heal from their chronic diseases. And through his books and the information he freely gave away on his website, he certainly helped hundreds of thousands, if not more. I never met Dr. McDougal, but I felt like I knew him because every week he went live online to present brand new lectures and to answer any medical questions that viewers wanted to ask. His knowledge was vast and he could point you directly to the resource you needed on any medical topic you could imagine. Thank you, Dr. McDougal, for tirelessly spreading this message and for carefully documenting your knowledge so we can learn from you even now. I already thought of Dr. McDougal every time I ate a potato, but now every potato that I eat is in honor of Dr. McDougal. So this video is for you, Dr. McDougal. Mary's Mini is a streamlined version of the McDougal diet, and you could look at it as a sort of reboot. Often it's used for people on a weight loss journey who may have hit a plateau and they're trying to jumpstart that weight loss again, or for other goals, a Mary's Mini is a great way to get you back on track. The idea is to eat a very simple diet for 10 days. You'll start by picking a starch, and you'll wanna make sure this is one of your favorite starches because it'll be the only one you eat for these 10 days for every meal. So it could be potatoes, rice, beans, whatever you like. Next, you'll add some non-starchy vegetables. And Dr. McDougall would argue that you could eat only potatoes for 10 days and be just fine. But for good measure, you can add some non-starchy vegetables. Unlike your starch, you can pick different vegetables to go with each meal. So you could have broccoli with one meal, peppers and onions with another, or whatever you like. Step three is to plan and prepare some food for three to five days so that you always have something to eat. You'll want to prepare plenty of whatever starch you choose and have lots of vegetables available. Dr. McDougall recommends getting frozen vegetables so you easily can have them on hand. And finally, you wanna make it taste good. The idea of this diet is to be kind of monotonous and boring, but it's not supposed to be bland. So you can add whatever seasonings you like, as well as condiments like ketchup and barbecue sauce, as long as they're oil free. And that's it. So let me show you how I'm preparing for my Mary's Mini. For my Mary's Mini, I chose russet potatoes as my starch. So I bought lots of russet potatoes, as well as frozen hash brown potatoes to use throughout my Mary's Mini. For breakfast, I'm going to make hash browns. I'm starting with shredded frozen potatoes and I'm dumping those into my largest mixing bowl. I'm thinking this might only last me two or three days for breakfast, but I'm not sure. You're not supposed to be hungry on a Mary's Mini, so you wanna eat as much as you need to feel satisfied. But this is a learning experience, so I'll just see how much I need to eat as I go and make more throughout the week. Then we add the non-starchy vegetables. For this meal, I'm using frozen peppers and onions, and then I also had a little bit of bell pepper and red cabbage left over in my fridge, so I went ahead and chopped that up and threw it in there as well. Then for my seasonings, I'm not measuring, I'm just going to evenly sprinkle everything until it looks good to me. I'm adding granulated onion and garlic, some chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and black pepper. After stirring it around, it didn't look like quite enough for me because this is a lot of potatoes, so I kept adding more until all the potatoes were pretty well coated in the seasonings. I spread this out onto two baking sheets. Ideally, you wanna spread this out pretty thin and you don't wanna pile it too high so that everything can cook evenly. But I wanna cook as much as I can at one time, so this is a little thicker than I normally would do. I'm baking this at 375 degrees, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'm gonna start with about 20 minutes and then I'll stir everything around and put it in for probably another 20 minutes more. How long it takes to cook will depend on how much moisture is in the vegetables and how crowded the pan is. You just wanna bake it until you start to get some brown crispy texture on there. While that's baking, I'll start working on the whole russet potatoes that I bought. I scrubbed them clean and I'm adding them to my Instant Pot. 
I'm just going to cook these whole and use them for my lunch along with some frozen vegetables. So I put the trivet in the bottom of the Instant Pot, added a cup of water, and I piled in as many potatoes as I could fit. This was about five pounds of potatoes. Once again, I'm not sure how long this is going to last me since I've never eaten only potatoes for 10 days. So I'm just cooking as many as I can at once, and as I run out of them throughout the week, I'll cook some more. These are pretty small russet potatoes, so I'm going to cook them for 13 minutes at high pressure. Then finally, I'm going to prep some mashed potatoes. I'm actually going to use frozen hash brown potatoes as the base for this so that I don't have to worry about peeling and chopping potatoes. I also have some cauliflower that I need to use up, and I usually put cauliflower in my mashed potatoes. So that will be one of my non-starchy vegetables with my mashed potatoes. I set this to cook for 10 minutes at high pressure, and I was going to let it natural release. But before it even got up to pressure, I got the burn warning. I should have defrosted the potatoes before I tried this. I think since they were frozen, it took so long to warm them up and to come up to pressure that I ended up getting the burn warning. So this time I ended up just transferring everything to a pot on the stove to finish cooking it there. And then I'll add my spices. And I'm just using what I usually add, which is granulated onion and garlic, dried chives, and a salt substitute. The only difference is normally I would add some plant-based milk to help make this really nice and creamy, but for my Mary's Mini, I'm just going to leave that out. These potatoes will still be delicious even without a plant-based milk. So here I have everything ready for the next couple of days. I have my hash brown potatoes with peppers and onions, my russet potatoes which I'll eat with different frozen vegetables, and my mashed potatoes. That's one of the great things about Mary's Mini, since it's such simple food, it's really easy to prep. So that was my Mary's mini food prep, and today is day one. I plan to do another video to talk through my whole Mary's mini experience, so if you want to see that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my video next week. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.